Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello and enjoy your discount. Are you tired of painting like an amateur in your corners? Are you ready to step up your game? Well, I don't blame you. Do yourself a favor and get the corner roller. Enough with wasting your time. Trying to get a brush and do all of this. Do the math. Replay the video. How much time did it take me to get into this corner with the corner roller? After that, all you gotta do is go in the corner, get your paint in those corners, and move on. If you're doing multiple corners like this, I urge you to get the corner roller. It's inexpensive, it's quick, it's easy, and it washes out really easy. Oh, it's not for this, trust me. It's just for this. So once again, getting those areas where the corner roller can't get into, you just take your roller, top to bottom, side to side, and you're saving loads of time. Now, we're creating ridges on the edges of this black paint, meaning here and here. So, how do we remedy that? Let me show you. You come in with your nine inch roller, and you fill it all in. This is time consuming and enough to be doing this in a cabinet area, right? You're gonna roll over those ridges, and they're gone and you're done. I had it on the truck. I haven't had any need for it. And I said, you know, I'm gonna save myself an hour and a half. I'm getting out my corner roller. And so I did. It's a great little tool. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, I highly suggest you get yours. Let's talk about using a paint roller. Let me show you how not to use one. Now, of course, I'm speaking to the good do-it-yourselfer who means well, who comes home on Friday and says, tomorrow, I'm gonna paint. You don't wanna be using your roller like this. Don't be insulted, please. I'm gonna speak plainly and freely. This is not a coloring game or a coloring book, right? Where we can go in any direction. You see what happens if you paint like that in different directions? When it dries, that's how it's gonna look. So let me show you how, if, you do, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, how you should be using your paint roller. If that's the top, and this is your bottom, you start about right here. You try to go as straight up and down as possible. You're spreading the paint out. Okay, let me show you. I'll back up. Now you want to lay out the paint. You just applied the paint right there. Up, all the way down, straight. 50% over. Up, all the way down. 50% over, up, all the way down. I'm not lifting the roller. 
it's staying on the wall as I go up and down. You want a good paint job? How many times my fingers? That's one, and that's two. That's one, and that's two. That's two layers of paint you're putting on there. Nice and straight. Now come to the side and look at that. You don't see any of this, do you? That's what you're gonna get if you leave that on there. All the way up, all the way down. 50% over, 50% overlap. All the way up, all the way down. And don't kill your corners. Your roller can't get in there. Let me show you what to use. Since we're using a roller anyway, we're going to take another roller that leaves the same stipple and get right in the corner. And we're gonna use our up and down roll too. All the way up, all the way down. That's it. And that's how you roll out a wall.